Hey guys, so it is a rare Saturday night here on the Daily Vape, and boy, the internet is all a flutter. Alright guys, so I decided not to upload the Funny Friday video this week. I just thought it might seem a little callous with everybody freaking out so much. So I figured I should probably just come up with a response video and touch on the subject of the FDA proposed regulations for e-cigs and let you guys know what CASA recommended approach is and give you guys the link under this video to CASA.org so you guys can join yourself and be ready to do some advocacy. So my initial video on the regulations was sort of just an off-the-cuff observation of my own personal feelings, which was mostly relief when I actually heard after four years of waiting for the FDA to drop the bomb and try to ban e-cigs altogether, it was a little bit of a relief to see that their initial negotiation stance was much less harsh than I expected it to be. That doesn't mean it's perfect, far from it. And so while there are a few of the regulations I don't really have a problem with, 18 and under, listing ingredients, um, a nicotine warning, stuff like that that obviously requiring FDA approval for any products developed after 2007 would be unnecessarily intrusive and would have a big impact on the industry so that's the part I don't like and that's probably where we would start the fight to push back on it so I definitely didn't mean to give the impression that I was wholeheartedly endorsing everything the FDA was trying to say. I was just impressed that their initial negotiation stance wasn't as harsh as I expected, but it is just an initial proposal. It's not the final rules yet. But I really just want to do this very quick video today just to alleviate the fears that I have not switched teams. I'm still going to support whatever CASA wants to do, of course, but I probably should have done what they did, which was take a wait and see approach in the beginning because the devil's always in the details, and I know that too. So until we come out and see specifically what the approval process is going to be for new products, what the application for a license is going to be, all of those little details, we're just really not going to know how intrusive this is going to be. So my advice would be for everybody to join CASA, use the link below sign up and then be ready to advocate or do whatever they ask once they're ready and know what they want to do. Now I noticed on their website they said unlike a lot of commentators they weren't going to come out immediately and have an opinion on this until they'd had a chance to you know really look at it and look at the details. You're used to just being a regular person and wanting to run out and share stuff with your friends if you're excited or if you're bummed or whatever the news may be. Sometimes you forget when you're a YouTuber you can't just run around and shoot your mouth off without actually realizing the impact that's going to have. And so it did set off a little bit of a fucking stir across the internet. For that I do apologize. I never wanted that video to be a wholehearted endorsement of the FDA's regulation, more so just an acceptance that some regulation was going to be inevitable, and actually some regulation was going to be desirable, because as long as we're completely unregulated, there's just going to be more impetus on the state and local levels to try to pass their own legislation and regulations on the industry, which could be much worse than what the FDA is proposing right now. I know they're proposing more strict regulations in Washington State right now, again, after we just beat down that 95 percent tax that would have also banned online sales and people have been watching my videos a while you know I'm not gonna get upset about much of anything they could have said that the asteroid was coming that was gonna destroy the earth and was gonna be here tomorrow I would have done a video saying been nice knowing you guys. So I'm not going to freak out. I don't think it's the end of the world. I think there's a lot of room left to negotiate. And I do think there'll be some changes. And we're going to have to deal with those. And we're going to have to do what we have to do as far as licensing and approvals. But that's true in any industry. So I think at some point we've been lucky that it went this far without getting any kind of regulation. And at the same time, I think the risk of a hundred different regulations across states, counties, cities, everywhere in the U.S. is going to be more difficult for the industry to deal with than having one set guideline presented by the FDA. Alright, I hope everybody is having a good weekend and not letting this thing upset them too much. The best thing to do at this point, like I said, is just join CASA, use the link below, and be ready to support whatever decision they make about how we approach this. Alright, that does it for this special Saturday edition of the Daily Vape. I now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. We'll see you guys on Monday for our Miscellaneous Monday video.